We're designing and building a window and a frame for an exterior door. We're going to assemble the inner frame. We're going to pre-drill and countersink the holes so that we can assemble things on site. That's coming up right now. Uh, I've got this uh, butt up against the blade and in order to get that, as, and I put a mark there, just the same way I did the last time with, the, uh, with this door in here. And then I'm going to push this up one eighth of an inch and then check and make sure it kind of drops down on it. That looks to be one and one eighth of an inch. Now, like they say, in situations like that, you can always take more, but you can't always put more back on. So let's take a sixteenth. I want to take a sixteenth. Uh, I'm plugged in, so I'm going to put some eye protection, ear protection, and let's try one sixteenth of an inch and see what happens. Yeah, I thought it looked like a bit much um, when I checked it. Let's see what happens here. So here's where it goes. Right here. And... Yeah, it needs a little bit more off. One thing is, these are marked. I have left here, left, right, marked right, um, bottom with the bottom, and the top with the top. So all, all, all eight of these are marked. Uh, and they're matched up. So let's take another, uh, looks like another 16th off of this and maybe it'll fit. Okay, perfect. Now I, I've decided not to spline this because of the glass. I mean, the glass, the glass is already there and the glass is glued. Everything yeah. here is pretty close to where it should be so this sh should be about three quarter inch so I need four screw holes here uh, five screw holes here and five here and four there alright so we're getting down to the last um, few little bits here the last uh, thing prior to installation is going to be pre-drill these holes uh, and then countersink them and then paint paint the wood in preparation, paint the whole assembly. So I've got one one and three quarter inch screws which uh, should be pretty sufficient to go all the way through here and I've pre-marked these I put this one this one a three quarter inch away from here uh, this one three quarter inches away from that edge over there and then, of course, centered exactly on the half inch, which is three quarters inch away from the edge of here. So, looking at the edge of this thing is three quarters of an inch. Well, why is it three quarters of an inch? And you can see, if I already pre-drilled one hole, it needs to be three quarters of an inch. It needs to be in the center of this board, and this board is one half inch um, thick. Um, with um, with a little um, bit of glass coming through about one eighth to one sixteenth, one sixteenth to one eighth of an inch. So I have to miss the glass as well. So this needs to be three quarters of an inch right in between this this half and one inch. Now uh, the other part is to mark the two. So I've got four screws going to three of all four of these were marked. And then uh, the next item was take this number between these two at 17, 17 and a half inches, and divided by three is well 18 divided by three is six, so it's six 
minus one third of a half of an inch. So basically six and uh, six minus a third of an inch. And I'm going to rough it out here. I'm going to say it's about it's about between seven and I use the scribe to uh, basically, which also works as a nice hole maker and wood, to, to put myself a, a lead in hole so, be, so the drill doesn't dance around before it goes in. Okay, now uh, make the holes um, no deeper than the screws, which is about like that. So if you have a drill stop, then uh, as it turns out, uh, this I, I can adjust where to put the drill here and then just snug it down. But I don't want the drill going any deeper than the screw because it'll weaken it, or it'll weaken the hole. It won't weaken the screw, but it'll weaken its effect. So now I'm going to make sure, very sure. That it's nice and very straight. If I had a drill press, I'd rather have. Uh, I'd rather do this with a drill press, just about any day, because a drill press will keep it nice and straight. Okay, so we have all four holes drilled, and of course um, now they're four more. I'm going to do this four more times, but I'm going to use. A slightly larger bit because this, uh, while it does need to lodge down inside here, this the, it does need to get stuck in there. It doesn't need to get stuck down inside here. So I'm going to make a slightly larger bit so that the uh, the screw to get into to go through this first set of holes here. Same thing with all four of these. Really, all I want it to do is not get hung up in here. So it needs to spin in the hole. The last thing, of course, the last thing, of course, is the countersink it, which is. Oh, this little guy right here. Okay, you've all seen the countersink before, so let's countersink. I put it back in the mouth of this. Now, there's already a hole there, so. Okay. Ah, they might be big enough. Best uh, next step, just, you know, try it, see what it does. Well, I'm going to put a little bit of force on this. Okay. That's it. Thanks for watching my program. If you like my videos, be sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And for an organized listing of my YouTube videos, go to my website, www.wheremyplacebos.com, and click on videos. Have a great day.